Hello! And welcome to another episode of Derpina Mode. Today, we're gonna be doing the sweater weather tag. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Question one. What is your favorite candle for the fall? My favorite candle is one that smells like men. <laughs> For those cold winter nights. It's a Muji candle and it's called Hinoki Wood. And I've been burning this for a full week and it's still not gone. It's amazing and they're only £3.50. My candle is also from Muji because Carnaby Street recently had a 20% off sale. Sorry for the double Muji. The one that I picked is cinnamon and mandarin. I'm a sucker for anything cinnamon. Kind of reminds me of my mom would always put on the stove like oranges and cinnamon sticks and just let the scent kind of go through the house and it also like warm up the house as well. Kind of reminds me of like apple cider. Coffee, tea, or hot chocolate? Tea, five ever. Usually I'm a chai latte girl, but I'm gonna be going a little rogue here. I love spiced apple cider. Costa does a hot apple spice, and it's pretty much the same thing that Starbucks does in the US. Mm. And it's excellent. What is the best fall memory that you have? For me, it's every year when it's October 7th because it's my birthday. My favorite fall memory is studying at Elmer's College because I was there for the fall semester. They had lots of trees and the fall, it's near Chicago, it was gorgeous. What makeup trend do you prefer in the fall? Do you like winged eyeliner or a dark lip? Dark lip always. Yeah, me too. I'll be right back! <laughs> I have this uh, Stila one in Lover. One, two, three. Whew. Oh, it's so beautiful. It is gorgeous and matte and just the best thing ever. And then a new acquisition um, that's actually a gift from like a goodie bag is this Bare Minerals lipstick. Who knew they did lipstick? I didn't. It looks crazy purple, but when you put it on your hand, or your mouth, it becomes this really purple berry. The one I usually hit up is this one by Maybelline, Plum Perfect, and it's really good because it's buildable, so you can kind of slap it on and kind of like dab it with your finger, and it's very muted and subtle, or you can do a full on just a coat and you got a huge pop of color. And then the other one is new, it's a gift, um, got it recently. It's MAC Plumful. This one has a little more red tones in it, but I'd say it's a lot more wearable than the Maybelline one, because the the way that this goes on is pretty sheer. Both those are my, my fall selections. Best fragrance for fall. When I was in the US, my mom had a new perfume and I fell in love with it. I asked for that for my birthday and she kindly obliged. So my fall scent is La Vie est Belle by Lancôme. So good. It's got a little ribbon on it. It's just like Parisian woman out on a fall day with a nice coat. I recently almost ran out of all my perfumes and before I get to buy a new one, I'm using all these like millions of testers that I have and I carry them around and I try to remember which ones I like. Um, I just remember the purple one I liked, which is Lancôme Trésor. I liked that one a lot when I was a kid as well. My mom had a lot of testers. Hello. This one is Loverdose by Diesel. Which I had never smelled before until Sana had it the other day and I was just like, whoa, what is, what is, what that, is that? It's so oh good. What it's so good. I want it. I want it real bad. What's your favorite Thanksgiving food? Tell me, not American person. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've had plenty of Thanksgivings and it is always sweet potato, marshmallow, casserole. So the sweet potato casserole with the little toasted marshmallows on top is also usually my favorite. But for variety's sake, I will say rolls. What's autumn weather like where you live? <laughs> I don't know, Mary. Where What's it like where you live? Yeah. It's exactly the same as in the Netherlands here in London. It's just, we have a bit of rain, but not that much. Most worn sweater in the fall. My most worn sweater is this one from Zara, and I've only had it for three weeks, and I've probably worn it almost every day. I did wash it at some point, maybe. <laughs> it looks like this. I have it in the middle here. Wee! And my favorite thing is that it has this really nice texture on it. It was about 40 pounds, it was quite expensive, but it's really, really soft. It has this great neck. My favorite bit is that it has a split here, so it means I can wear it over skater skirts. It doesn't just cut off mm -hmm, everything, mm -hmm. and it's quite short. For my sweater, it's another one that I usually, when, once fall hits, I can pull this out of storage, and I'm like, yes! This sweater is massive. I got it at Goodwill about three years ago for $5. It's just huge. And this is another thing that I will wear this out and I will sleep in this. Must have nail polish for the fall. Bahama Mama by Essie, you guys know about this by now. Just especially in fall though, it's cause it's kind of purpley more than red. I usually throughout the year I go for like a burgundy and then once fall hits I will put on the purple. And then I also really like this one by Catrice. I was actually thinking of putting it on today. And it is called Lost in Mud. So Sana was scolding me because I was bringing out the black nail polish. I was like, that's fallish. But she was like, no, bring out what you would 
be putting on today. And I was actually going to paint my nails today, I haven't done it yet. But what I was going to paint my nails is uh, Model's Own in lavender blue. I just kind of wanted like icy looking nails and I think I really like the way that light colored nails look with dark colors. Football games! American football I assume. Or jumping in leaves. Jumping in leaves. Yeah, also jumping in leaves. Yeah. Football games for the nachos. Skinny jeans or leggings? Probably leggings. <laughs> leggings! Combat boots or Uggs? These are like my last two shoes. And I'm always wearing my spiky Sam Edelman boots. Like I wear those pretty much every day and I'm wearing them to death. Is pumpkin spice worth the hype? I give it one chance every year. Still, I still think it's overrated. See, my very first Starbucks I ever had was a pumpkin spice latte. I really liked it then, but I had one last month and I'm kind of like, meh. Your favorite fall TV show? I am marathoning Lost. I've been watching a lot of The Twilight Zone, the original series from 1959, or The Mighty Boosh. What song really gets you into the fall spirit? I'm gonna choose Sweater Weather by The Neighborhood. That song is my freaking jam. I have just been listening to the How I Live Now soundtrack on repeat. If you would like to do the sweater weather tag, we would love to see your video. And if you've already done one and you'd like to share, tweet it to us. Okay, hope you enjoyed this tag. Dark mode.